Outback Flex Power Radian. It's an eight year old product, but today I'm gonna to tell you why I still believe that the Outback Flex Power Radian is the best solar equipment available for off grid preparedness. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the last eight years, I've been helping families get their household set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. And of course, in most cases, we're using a renewable energy solar with battery backup system to accomplish that. In today's video, I'm gonna be presenting to you the Outback Flex Power Radiant System and why I still believe it's the absolute best solar equipment available for those that are preparing to survive during a prolonged grid down event. The first reason actually has to do with its age on the marketplace. The fact that the Radiant system has been out for eight years means that it is a tried and tested technology. Now over the past one or two years, there've been a lot of new solar plus storage products that have become available on the residential market. And although a lot of the underlying technologies and chemistries are very, very exciting and I think are very positive long-term for the solar plus storage uh, industry, the fact that they're so brand new and that they have not been rolled out in, you know, at scale yet and have a chance for all the bugs and the kinks to get worked out, I think is actually to the prepper's detriment because the type of environment that a lot of us are preparing for is one in which you're not gonna be able to just pick up the phone and call the repairman to come out if something goes wrong. And so just like a lot of other bleeding edge technology products like smartphones, for example, you know, you're not gonna be able to just go into the repair shop if something goes wrong. You want to make sure that your home is protected by a system that is durable and reliable enough. And if the need were to arise, you could provide some basic field service right there uh, yourself to the unit. And so that's one of the reasons I like the Flex Power Radian. This is designed primarily as a 100% off the grid system. The fact that it has an additional capability to be able to sell power back to the grid to help reduce your electric bill is kind of just an added feature, but the, the, the system itself is designed primarily to be a fully self-sufficient off the grid system. Now the flex power uses a DC coupled architecture. And what that means is that the solar power coming off of your rooftop or coming off of your ground mount array, if you have it mounted on the ground, the solar power is first delivered to the battery bank. So the solar panels can be used to keep those batteries full first before any additional energy is used to power the house or to sell back to the power company. Now what this means is that in a grid down mode, you will have access to be able to run the system at full power, whether it's day or night. If it's daytime, the solar panels can carry the load directly without having to drain into the battery whatsoever. And then of course at nighttime, you can draw from stored energy that's in the battery to keep the power on to the loads within your house. Of course, then the batteries have the ability to recharge the solar panels the next day when the sun comes back up. Now, on the other hand, many of the AC battery products on the market, like the Tesla Powerwall, for example, uh, an AC coupled battery will generally drain the battery first even if the sun is shining, it will drain from the battery first and then only activate the solar panels once the battery falls below a certain threshold. So for example, let's say the grid goes down in the middle of the day and you're running on a Tesla Powerwall battery backup. Even though the sun is shining, your solar won't be contributing anything to power the home. You'll actually be draining the battery until it reaches about 50 or 60%. And then the Powerwall will activate the solar panels to help bring it back up to full charge. Now that type of architecture limits your efficiency. It doesn't allow you to capture all of the total available energy. And it also reduces your battery life because you're cycling the battery uh, when otherwise you wouldn't have to, um, creating a lot of what are called micro cycles where you're, you're draining it, recharging it, draining it, recharging it, uh, oftentimes many times within the same day when with a DC coupled architecture, you don't have to do that because the solar panels can carry whatever load uh, is being demanded directly when the sun is shining. Another feature of the Flex Power unit compared to Powerwall, it just offers a lot more horsepower. You know, a lot of our clients that are preparing to survive off the grid have either primary residences or retreat properties that are in rural areas where you're gonna be on your own independent water and septic system, just like the setup that we have here. 
That means that in addition to lighter loads, like let's say your light bulbs or your refrigerator, or your freezer, typically you're gonna have uh, electric pumps for water and sewer service that need power as well. And so like in our case here, we have a deep well pump that's a three and a half horsepower pump that pumps fresh water up from underneath the ground. And then we also have a powered septic pump, which pumps the wastewater uh, for our septic system up and away from the house. So when you're looking at your critical loads and what, what systems do you want to protect with your renewable energy system, if you're in a rural area where you have to carry those water and sewer pumps as well as normal things like refrigerator, freezer, TV, and in some cases air conditioning, you want a system that can provide enough horsepower to sustain those loads, perhaps all running simultaneously. And with a 9,000 watt load handling capacity surging up to 16,000 watts, the Radian unit uh, meets that requirement very, very well. Another thing that gives the Radian advantage in a grid down mode is the generator integration feature. Now, one of the things I always recommend to our clients that are preparing to run off the grid for a prolonged period of time is to have an ability to plug in a, a fuel burning generator, whether it be a small portable unit like the one I have here, uh, or one of the whole house uh, standby type generators like many of my neighbors have, but the idea is that if you're running in a grid down mode and let's say it's the middle of winter and you have overcast weather for the whole week, so the solar panels haven't been able to really keep up with the demand and your batteries are starting to, to draw down, having the ability to plug in a fuel burning generator gives you a backup to your backup. So instead of just draining out and being without power, you can fire up your generator, run that for a few hours to recharge your batteries and then you can switch to running a couple more days off of battery power. So it gives you additional insurance that you're never gonna be without power, and in the event you do have to run the generator, it lets you stretch your fuel a lot longer because you're not running the generator all day. You're just running it long enough to recharge the batteries, and then you're switching back to running off the renewable power system. Another thing I like about the Radian unit is that there are field uh, replaceable parts for some of the common components that might go bad. So for example, uh, in the past, I've had to replace the control board, uh, the power control board, or, or the call actually power supply board uh, on the Radian unit. Um, if there's a lightning strike somewhere nearby, that's one of the components that can sometimes be affected. Now the part itself only costs about $140. In fact, I'll put the link down below where you can access those spare parts directly. But the nice thing about that is that this is a part that you can actually pre-purchase and have on hand ahead of time so that if there were some incident that were happening like that, like a lightning strike on your property, you're not going to be sitting there without power waiting for a technician that may or may not even be available, depending on what the scenario is. With the Radian unit, you can have those spares pre-purchased in a protected uh, static bag or Faraday cage on site at your property. Uh, another one of the items you might want to look at is the cooling fan. Uh, the cooling fan is another one of those components that may go, may go bad over time. It's about a $20 piece. Uh, no reason not to just go ahead and have a spare of that on hand already, as opposed to waiting to have to call a technician. And so that really is, you know, it kind of follows that whole theme is, this is designed to be an off-grid system. This is why the Amish use this system, right? It's not designed to be one of those things where you have to be able to access tech support or even have to access the internet to be able to operate it. And that's the final point that I'd like to mention about why the Radian is the best for a true grid down scenario. You know, some of the other inverter systems on the market, like the Tesla Powerwall, for example, for, for backup uh, inverter, it, it actually requires that the system be connected to an internet connection or else the warranty is entirely void. Now again, the type of environment that many of us are preparing for telecommunication service may or may not be available. But there's also the additional factor of the potential security risk. You know, in the environment that we're living in today, where tech companies can just remotely log in and do a software update to your computer or do a software update to your phone, uh, products like the Tesla Powerwall actually allows the company to do an automatic over-the-air software update to your battery or potentially to disable your battery over the air. So for those of you that are really preparing for any kind of contingency, the, the Radian system allows you to operate in a completely isolated standalone mode, meaning you don't need any connection to the power grid, you don't need any connection to the internet if you don't want to have it. 
so that again, we can maximize your self-sufficiency and your security. Now folks, if you have any questions about this system and whether or not this would be available in your area or for your home, uh, feel free to reach out to us on the link below. And of course, you know, if you have any questions about the information here or about the, the equipment here, go ahead and post it in the comments section and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Well, as always, guys, I thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you're getting good value here, make sure you go ahead and uh, hit the like and subscribe button so that it will force YouTube and the other sites to show this to more, to more viewers. And also be sure to share this information with anybody else you think will benefit from it. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.